thanks for tuning in to Essential RC for another drive test. This is the BW Space Pro from UCAN Robot, an underwater drone that can operate at up to 330 feet or 100 meters depth. It's got a 4K Ultra HD camera that transmits its real-time view to the controller on the surface with two variable brightness lights to illuminate whatever is in front of it. It can speed along at up to 1.5 meters per second while giving the controller the ability to move it precisely on six axes to video any action you want to capture both smoothly and accurately. When you unbox the BW Space Pro you're going to find the manual and some spare rubber grommets on top of the box. Take that thin layer of protective foam away and underneath that you will find the Wi-Fi repeater, the remote controller and the tether reel with its components. Take that out of the box and you'll find the BW Space Pro drone underneath. First thing you're going to need to do is to charge up the drone and charge up the Wi-Fi repeater. Very easy to do just by plugging them into a power source. Then you're going to need to assemble the tether reel. Again, very easy if you just follow the instructions in the manual. So let's get BW Space Pro ready for its first dive. The first thing we do is take that cover off and we're gonna connect up this cable from the tether reel. You'll see that the Wi-Fi repeater is magnetically attached to the side of the tether reel and I've connected it up like that. In the end of the plug, you'll see there's a notch. We need to align that with the side like that so it connects into the into the drone when you do that you'll hear it switch on do that up tightly at the same time what you importantly need to do is attach to the tether line like that. It's important to do that because all the weight of the drone needs to go on that rather than on this connection. Then we switch on the Wi-Fi repeater, single click. You'll see that the green lights come on. That is now giving us Wi-Fi. So we go into Wi-Fi on our phone. Turn it on. And we should see you can one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and connect. So that Wi-Fi is now connected. You can connect to the 5G as well if you prefer. Then what I've already done is preloaded the app, the dive app, onto my smartphone. The link for that is in the manual. The you can dive app there. Click on that. Enter. Connect the device. slide to unlock and you'll see now that the image from the camera on the drone is being displayed on your smartphone then we can switch on the controller flip up the cradle and put our smartphone in the cradle so we're ready to go for our first dive let's go do that So the first thing I do after I've dropped the BW Space Pro drone into the water is I use the button on the remote controller or on the app to unlock the drive system. After I've done that the drive system starts up and I'm ready to go on an underwater adventure. Okay, so that was some onboard video that I captured and got stored in the 
internal storage on the uh, on the drone that I downloaded subsequently. But let's look at the remote controller first because there's quite a lot going on here. The manual is very good. It uh, tells you what each of the buttons and joysticks does. I familiarized myself before the first dive. On the left stick, you've got your or spin left and right, and then uh, up in depth, down in depth, or surface or dive. And then on the right stick, you've got forwards and backwards. The X and B buttons on the controller allow you to change the speed between high, medium and low. So I'm on high speed at the moment and it can do about 1.5 meters per second if you push the stick to the top. Pretty quick. Not long before you have to turn around and go back the other direction. But if I put it in medium speed mode. Noticeably slower. And then if I put it into low speed mode. It really does slow it down quite a lot so if you were taking on board video maybe and you want it to be smooth slow is probably what you'd uh, want to use I suspect another axis you can control is pitch so by using the pad and the bottom left of the remote controller you can pitch up or pitch down The limit is about plus or minus 45 degrees and you achieve that by individual clicks to incrementally change the pitch angle, not by holding down the gamepad. The BW Space Pro underwater drone also has two lights, one either side of the 4K camera and you can control the brightness of those lights either by using the buttons on the back of the remote controller or by a slider on the app. All the control I've demonstrated so far via the remote controller can also be achieved using the app that you have running on your smartphone. Uh, despite that I think it's definitely best to use the joysticks you get better fidelity of control. But there are secondary functions and a lot of telemetry that is displayed on the app that will be really important, especially when you dive out of visual range. Everything I've shown so far is in clear water in this pool. But obviously, if you are out in a, you know, diving in a lake or a river or even out in the sea, then almost immediately the drone is going to be out of view and you are going to be relying on the view, the FPV view, the first person view that you see in the app and the telemetry that is displayed on top of that. So let's look at some of that additional telemetry that we get in the app. So the manual uh, best describes this and it's well worth familiarizing with this before you go for your first dive. So at number one you've got the uh, posture of the drone in the water so from the front view the vertical view and the side view number two is the Wi-Fi signal strength number three is the temperature the water temperature number four is a compass so you can see your heading and number five shows the status of the connection number six is the remaining battery life of the drone and the battery life of the Wi-Fi repeater is shown at seven then you've got device mode at 8 and uh, this is interesting because we'll show this in future videos but it allows uh, in a different mode in the app it allows you, allows you to be a viewer uh, of the telemetry and the first person view and not the controller. Number 7 is lock so when I dropped it into the water it was locked and then I unlock and the drive system engages. You've got a whole host of different settings behind 10 
and there's a st the steel wheel uh, they call it number 11 is uh, that's for con using the the virtual control the virtual joysticks but i prefer to use the remote controller personally then at 12 you've got the uh, the brightness of the lights number 13 is what they call depth maintenance so you can lock your depth if you uh, want to do that uh, if you do that, then the other controls work, so backwards, forwards, left and right, but your depth is locked and you wouldn't be able to use up and down on the left stick. Then at 14, that actually shows your actual depth. 15 allows you to change between those high, medium and low speed modes. Your pitch range is shown at 16. And at 17, you can click that and it will reset your pitch angle rather than having to use the, the pad to, you know, click to get back to zero degrees. 18 is only uh, the ability to zoom. That is, is only supported by the, the zoom version of this drone. 19, you can uh, change into VR mode. So if you ha want to, if you've got a, a set of goggle, a goggles frame that you could put your smartphone into, you can effectively sw split the view. And for 20 uh, and 21, you can turn on or take photos and start and stop recording a video. And 22 takes you to the gallery to show you what you have captured on the uh, onboard storage. When I've completed my underwater adventure, all I need to do is to use the lock button on the app or the remote controller to switch off the drive system. Then use the tether to pull the drone out of the water and put it on the side, letting the water drain out. It is worth pointing out that the tensile strength of the tether line is 150 kgf. Should the tether line get caught on anything while you are pulling in the drone, the tether line will not break. Thanks for watching my first look at the BW Space Pro drone from my friends at UCAN Robot. Uh, I'm going to be using this for some underwater exploration in future videos. If you're interested in that, please subscribe and click the bell icon for notifications of our future uploads and live streams. Until then, see you next time.